Metroid Prime, Zeta Alpha and Omega Metroids. Yeah, they weren't exactly the... Well, you see, as long as they could try to harness their power and use it for themselves, then they wouldn't mind it. Haven't you watched anything Marvel or in DC? Samus, you shouldn't have done that. You ignored your orders. You may have to pay the price for that quite soon. As you can see, the Federation has been secretly working on a Metroid breeding program. For peaceful applications only, of course. Please understand. But perhaps you already knew of this program's existence? Certainly, you must have had doubts when you saw Sector 1. SRX, a faithful replica of the SR388 ecosystem. Ideal for raising Alpha, Gamma, Zeta, and even Omega Metroids. This research even uncovered techniques for rapid growth. Imagine creating an Omega from a, lar from a larval Metroid in days. But that research is finished. The X has smelled out its natural enemy. And one of the SRX is on its way here. One? Are you saying there is more than one SRX? Don't be so surprised, Samus. You know that the X are reproduced by asexual division. Because of this mechanism, there are now no fewer than ten SRX aboard. The station. Samus, you must go. Get out. If you stay too long, the Psyx will destroy you. Stop only at the navigation room to uplink to me. I don't know how HQ is going to take this, but you need to report to them immediately. Get going. <laughs> wow, that's a blue visor. The real Adam would have said the same thing about that incident, but he would have softened the blow. He was relentless in his criticism, but he always cared. He was not a machine obsessed with duty. No such compassion could exist in that computer. That blue, that blue visor. And where am I now? From the looks of it, I'm... in Sector 1. Alright. I did not ask for those things. Although I did ask for that E-Tank. And it's all the way over there! So that's why they put... why they did that. It's so clever. Okay, I gotta freeze this guy's back. platform thingies. Oh, 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 Metroids. These are Metroids. They, they look really much like Metroids, but... almost. They even act like Metroids. And over here is... Save. I think I know what's up next. Yeah, those little green squishy things were Metroids. Or rather, Metroid... Really? I thought they were... I thought they were unstable Metroid clones. Like, little larva things. Because they look similar to Metroids and act like Metroids. 
they're very similar. I mean, they were draining my health when they touched me instead of just, you know, straight up damage. Because if it was a natural Metroid, then they wouldn't have been able to be the X. But since they're breeding them here, it totally could have been a thing. Right, I have to Jump there. See the gold space part. This is why government cloning is bad. What? What's that conspiracy? There is one. All right, I'm heading in some unknown direction. Over here is a thing that I do not like to do. Feels like there should be something up here. Save yes. Feels like this is gonna be a boss soon. There's only one thing left to do in this game. Hi, Nimbog. Do all these guys because I don't care. Right. It's possible. All right. Now, turn. You might want to turn your headphones down a bit. This fight is going to be loud. I'm just going to say this once. So you can protect your ears. Just watch out. It's gonna get pretty loud. You got that? This puppy dragon pet is pretty. Dude, it's pretty happy. I found a puppy. Does that look like a puppy to you? <laughs> no, up oh, that. I'm getting it off. If you still have sound on, if you still have sound on, then I still recommend using Plasma Beam, because it does multi-hits. And, eh, uh, tail, tail, let go of me, let go of me, let go of me. No hugs, this is not time for hugs. Ah. Uh. So many new tricks. Ridley, this is no time for hugs. Thanks. So many new tricks. Dr. Ridley today. Toilet number 1-800-Apocalypse. 1-800-Metroid, that's right. 1-800-Metroid. Our prayers are standing by until they're also transformed from the X-Virus. Dead, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah. Make sure, make sure that you have so many, like, ice missiles nearby. <sighs> okay, sound can now be adjusted back to normal. I said yes. Thanks. Uh. I love that fight though. It's so it's like the most intense fight out of the entire game. It's so good. Even when the last battle the last fights. That fight right there is my favorite fight out of all. And I used all of my missiles. And I now have a screw attack. Which means nothing's gonna stand in my way. Now, let's see what I've got left. I 
know I just checked them out last time. But looks it, I've got to get out of here. Pop. Pop. Alright, I've got to head down here. Pop. I I can just, just jump attack into them. Not even, they're not even a thing anymore. Down here. Yeah, you're not a thing. All right. So many walls. Well, that was cool. And up we go. Space pirate. I can't even take damage when I'm like this. All right, and awesome. Yes, I use the GameCube component cables. Uh, like, what do you mean? I just use the the NES SNES thing. Connect it, like the little connector thing. Hook it up to a double splitter. So one image is going to my TV. Another image is going to my laptop, which is how you're seeing this stream right now. Like, this is not an emulator or something like that. If that's what you're asking. I'm not exactly sure what you're asking. Let's see. Let's see if I can make a quick, quick journey over here. Oh, wow. Not even affected by heat. There's two missile tanks. And I can go up there from there. From here. And there's eggs all over the place, and I don't like that. Alright. Well, what are your settings for this? Because, like, I have... I have it on... I don't have a screen filter on or something. So I don't know... Oh well. Words, how do they work? Words are pretty difficult. Alright, computer, what you got now? Samus, we're done here. Leave the rest of the Federation. should be preparing to evacuate the station. Are you joking? Do you know how dangerous the X are? How quickly they reproduce? The Federation has taken an interest in the X and the Sa X. They believe this life form has endless potential applications. This is ridiculous! The X are heartless abominations! What potential could they have? Look at that blue visor. It is not necessary that you understand such matters. The Federation is coming now. You should just leave quietly. This is madness! You want to... They won't miss that a chance here! The station will devour them! What could be worth the risk? Capturing the Sa X, of course. Are you serious? Do you think they really... Do they really think they can succeed? It will certainly be difficult. They don't expect your help. They knew you were trying to, to destroy the Sa X. That's why they stopped sending you support data. The plasma beam modification was ready some time ago. But they withheld it for, to keep you from engaging the Sa-X. Yet somehow you restored that function on your own. They also tried to withhold the diffusion missile upgrade because they didn't want you to grow too powerful. But they had already sent it, and you tracked it down. Bravo, Samus. They must cancel this mission! Open a channel to HQ! I won't let this happen! They're already on the way. Fools. As soon as that Federation ships land, the X will overwhelm them and absorb their knowledge and power of their occupants. The X are just waiting for the hunt to begin, and then they'll spread across the universe. Galactic civilizations will end. 
The X hunger for form, knowledge, and power. They mimic these perfectly, but they cannot copy the soul. The single-minded, ins instinctively seeking to increase their number. They're a plague, and the Federation underestimates their threat. The X must not leave here. I must destroy them all before the Federation arrives. This, st this station has a self-destruct mechanism. I must use it to destroy the X here and on the planet. I must send them to oblivion. Them, the station, and myself if I have to. Computer! Open the hatch! I have been ordered to confine you until the ships arrive. Don't let them do this! Can you see what will happen, Adam? Adam? Who is Adam? A friend of mine. And what would this friend advise you to do now? He would know that the only way to end this is to start the self-destruct cycle. He'd know how important it is. Did this Adam care for you? Would he sit in a safe command room and order you to die? He would understand that some must live, and some must die. He knew what it meant. He made that sacrifice once. So, he chose life for you, our fair warrior Samus Aran. Your Adam gave his life so that you might keep yours. For the sake of the universe. How foolish. How dare you! How could you hope to understand, machine? You know that detonating the station in high orbit would not guarantee the complete extinction of the X parasites. Even though the station would be utterly destroyed. You would only succeed by removing the one obstacle to the galaxy's ruin. Yourself. You would ignore the simple fact and choose death. When Adam decided who would live, he chose incorrectly. If you were to alter the station's orbit, then you might be able to include the planets in the vaporization field of the self-destruct detonation. You would have to start the propulsion sequence now, before the Federation arrives. Samus, this is your last mission. Go to the operations room and adjust the station's orbit path to intercept SR-388. The return of your ship, then return to your ship and escape. Move quickly and stay alive. That's an order. Any objections, lady? our mission. Hold our mission. Up we go for the working elevator. Glad I don't have to go through that again. There's something in here. I don't want to go after that. That's stupid. I don't have time for that. And yes, I did casually make a pun. But only in the chat. You will never know what it is. Oh well. That's why you should go to stream. I will not get that missile, Travis! I don't want that missile! It, is, it insulted me! It said I was a meanie. Also, this is good. Let's see what's in here. Looks like I can go through here, and then here, and boom! I told you this wasn't going to be 100%. I ain't got time for that. 
Why? Because I don't have to? I don't have to. Wrong room. Oh well. You know what? I'll save once more. Good feeling. You don't got time for that. Second is in the navigation room, and he's not going to stop me. And now I can go up here. Up. Am I even going in the right room? Please don't go in the right room. Yes, I am. Alright. This Pichu doesn't have enough time for missiles. More inside jokes. Wait. I got time for waiting. I've got it. There you are. Ha 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 ha. I can't be frozen anymore. But you can. How much health have you got left to clone? Ow. Because I don't have any much. Hi. Oh. Got enough? Okay. So what made you think transforming into that would help you? I mean, seriously, how would this improve your chances of victory in any way? Alright then. Oh, I can't get hit one more time. I cannot afford to get him. <laughs> Seriously? Wow. Eh, I got a little... I got hit a couple times. Couple too many times. So that's a sad face. I was so close. Oh uh, well. You have no idea how much of a pro tip that is. Why would you mean it? It's going much better. See? It's already dead. Ah. 
That was so much easier. Why is it going so much easier this time? I don't know. I guess it is. It looks like this one's going to drop me an ice beam, though. I'm looking forward to that. Come on, ice beam. Oh, ice beam. Ice beam. Fine. Off I go. Alright then. Time to explode stuff. Oh yeah, explode stuff. Do I have enough for you? Nope, can't recharge. I don't need the ice beam to just run away. Although I'm glowing now, so that helps. Well, that Ridley theme was... Uh, for some reason, I'm not sure why they put the approved Ridley theme for this escape. Can I see you, computer? Alright, and I'm going... that way. This song sounds so cool. So cool. Let go. Down I go, down I go, down I go, down I go. Oh, oh, damage, battle damage. Yeah. My ship's gone. Well then. I have a feeling this, this Metroid just said, go to sleep. No, that's not... Okay, okay. Looks like I'm dead. It's Ice Beam! And, of course, they hate Metroids, that's right. Well then, don't mind if I do. Ugh. Okay, well that doesn't hurt that much now. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back! Ah. Get back! Get back, get back, get back, get back. <laughs> Come on. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Huzzah! And there's my ship. Huh. Thought you ditched me there. This is not two hours, by the way. This feels more like three. Four, maybe. I don't know. Oh well. Green Visor. The, that perfect military mind. The wisdom of Adam Malkovich continued to serve even after death. Until today. I had no idea that the minds of leaders and scientists were frequently uploaded to computers. My incredible reunion with Adam may have saved the universe. That was, a, that was another fast game. With Luigi. Speedruns with Luigi! Yay! But how will the beings of the universe view our resolve? I doubt they will understand what we did. The danger we barely averted. They will hold tribunal and investigations. Tribunals. They will hold us responsible. Adam understood this, and he spoke to me in my anger. Do not worry. One of them will understand. One of them must. I've reflected upon his words, and I see the wisdom in them. We are all bound by our experiences. They are the limits of, this, of our unconsciousness. But in the end, the human soul will never read will ever reach for the truth. That is what Adam taught me. 
just one detail still bothers me. This ship can only be started manually. Yet, before I faced the Mega Metroid, the ship moved on its own, guided by someone's hands. Is it possible? Adam? Lady? What's the troubling you? You wonder how I started the ship? Just think about it. They lent me a hand. Kinda. Kinda reminded me of Stitch. From Lilo and Stitch. Dun dun dun. Zushi Takahiro. Sakuma Yoshio. So many different names you can't pronounce. You want one of those little Stitch things as a pet? I don't know if... I don't know if... If Earth has clearance for that. You might need a special kind of permit or something. From the sound, from the looks of it, you'll need a good permit for that. I don't know if they give those yet. But oh well. <laughs> well, that was a pretty fun game. I would, and I kind of do like the Metroids. But... This is a pretty fun stream. Those intergalactic pet permits? Yeah, they totally might be a little expensive. I mean, you know, Astro Dollars and whatnot. What is, what even is an Astro Dollar? How do I even Astro Dollar? How does this work? <laughs> but, I did pretty good. <laughs> so the better question is, now what? I don't really have anything else planned after this. So let's at least check what kind of ending I got. Took me a little longer than two hours, and Samus, Samus, tell me what kind of ending I got. It's a Samus. Samus is a girl? No. It's Samus. Clear time. Two twenty-eight. Wow. Forty-four percent. Yay! I'm mediocre. But hey, that clear time's pretty good. I almost got less than two. That's pretty good. <laughs> ah, good old Samus. Shocking the entire video game world one game at a time. See you next mission.